Ooh. Horror is just not my thing, is it? Never mind. Happy Halloween, everyone. It's me, it's Benedict, and my house is haunted. <laughs> that explains why my socks are always going missing. But anyway, no Halloween would be complete without at least one mention of Casper the Friendly Ghost. Casper was created in 1939 by author Seymour Wright and animator Joe Oriolo, the latter name you may recognise for creating the Felix the Cat show from the 1950s. Casper eventually found popularity in animated cartoons at Paramount's famous studios, starting with the cartoon we'll be looking at today, The Friendly Ghost, which was directed by Fleischer Studios veteran Isidore Sparber. Now let's see if this cartoon is a pleasant surprise or if it's going to haunt me for the rest of the day. The short begins by taking us through an old gate towards a haunted house, classic Halloween setting, as our narrator, radio host Frank Gallup, introduces us to our titular character. His name was Casper, and he was surely the most unusual ghost there ever was, or wasn't, depending on how you feel about it. I'm inclined to say wasn't because he is technically fictional. Every night, the stroke of twelve, his brothers and sisters scampered out joyously to frighten the folk of the neighborhood. What? 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 Hey. Well, they're already good at scaring humans. They've only just left the house and they've already got me. Of course, Casper doesn't go out with the others, even when peer pressure comes rowing up to him. Wake up, Casper! Time to scare people! <laughs> that was rude. Couldn't you see he was just sleeping? So all the other ghosts fly in a pretty impressive formation, and then they... Dive bomb into people's houses? Jeez, you do know there was a war recently, yet you still dive bomb into people's houses. Can you say insensitive? Understandably, Casper can't stand this routine and he decides to head off. To seek new environments where he might forget he's a ghost and make friends with the world. The next morning... Okay, hold up. A ghost is out in broad daylight. How does that work? Anyway, Casper's first attempt at friendship is... A crowing cock. Okay, I'll just say cockerel if that's going to stop you snickering. Good morning, friend. Of course, Casper's attempt to befriend the cockerel doesn't go well. So Casper continues on until something starts digging out beneath him. Hello. Hello. This time it appears Casper's attempt at friendship is going well. That is, until the mole actually sees him. Casper continues to slip through the farm, until a discount Tom and Jerry cross his path. So that's all Tom needed to catch Jerry, hmm. Then Casper hears some clucking from a nearby hen house, and let me guess, he scares them off. Of course, all the hens literally fly the coop. <laughs> I bet How Too Basic would be proud of that result. This turn of events leaves Casper feeling very despondent. I'm just a scary old ghost. <laughs> That's grim. You do know that's not gonna work, right? Oh, oh well. Obviously, the fact that he's already dead means Casper doesn't get killed by the train. Which, now I think about it, that's not just grim, that's horrifying! What did Casper do in life to deserve this? <laughs> But then, when all hope seems lost, two children named Bonnie and Johnny see him, and they don't run away instantly. Instead, they ask Casper if he wants to play ball with them. You wanna... you wanna... Uh, play with me? 
Of course he joins in with their fun and games, and the kids learn the benefits of having a paranormal playmate. <laughs> you know me, I'm a sucker for wholesomeness. So Casper jump ropes all the way to Bonnie and Johnny's home to meet their mother. Guess how this one ends. Gosh, mother, that was rude. <laughs> While Casper slips away in tears, a vulture capitalist landlord bursts in for payment of the mortgage. A ghost! The house is haunted! Keep the mortgage! So, there's the solution to the cost of living crisis, ladies and gentlemen. Get a ghost to haunt your house and you'll never have to pay a mortgage again. Of course, the mother has an immediate change of heart after Casper saves the family home. So, if you're the believe in ghost stories kind, this is what happened. And if you're the don't believe in ghost stories kind, well, this is what happened anyway. And so, Casper, Bonnie and Johnny gaily skip off to school. Hopefully Casper won't burn down the prom. And that was the friendly ghost. How does it hold up? I'd say pretty well actually. While Famous Studios animation isn't quite up to par with their predecessors, it still looks pretty good here, especially in this full colour version I sourced on YouTube. The story is pretty good too, in fact I respect the story a lot more as an adult than I did as a child. And of course Casper himself is a very cute and likeable character whom you ultimately want to succeed. Admittedly the gags do feel a little repetitive and the suicide attempt is pretty tasteless. But overall I still consider it to be very enjoyable and I do recommend watching it especially at Halloween. Especially in full colour needless to say. Thank you for watching, if you like this be sure to like and subscribe and be sure to follow me on Instagram to see all my Inktober drawings this year. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you're in America, you might want to set an extra place for Thanksgiving, because I'm coming over for dinner. I'll see you then.